For this project, you will need a printer, some photo paper, some pictures you want to turn into Polaroids, a computer, a craft knife, a craft mat, and a straight line like a ruler or something similar. So this is the template I used to make the Polaroids. It has simply two layers. It has a frame and a just a place to put your image. You can get this from the link in the video description which will either link you to my website where it has the download link here or to a Google Drive as a backup. There will be two download links just in case. You never know what happens. It's also here a bit of instructions of how to resize them. You'll see this later on in the video anyway. So once you downloaded the template, open it in your preferred editor of choice and get to work. Simply place the image in the bottom layer and resize as necessary. I'd recommend using shift click if you have it or something similar that locks the aspect ratio of the image, otherwise you could really stretch the image really badly. So just try and keep the image at the same aspect ratio as it should be. So now you've got your images made, all you've got to do is open a Word document or something similar, so you can use Google Docs or something like that. And then you've got to do is just import the image or whatever and resize it to the size on screen. Essentially it's the, size, it's the same size as the Polaroids that I've already got. I just resize them. It's about 4 inches by 3.5, though you can't get quite an accurate of inches, so I use centimeters in this case. So in this case it's 10.32 uh, by whatever the width size it's have to be. It could be 9.05 or 9.04. It's variant depending on which image you use. Um, no matter which one it is, it's roughly the right size. Also allows for a bit of error if you make mistakes when cutting. So that's time to print the Polaroids. Obviously when it comes to printing make sure you get the paper the right way up. I made the mistake and got it the wrong way up the first time I made these Polaroids so I recommend printing a page with just normal paper with like a word on the page to see which way up the print is meant to be and then just put the paper with the glossy side on the side which has the text on it. Then we do just put the paper in and press print and it'll take a while. Make sure you've got the photo option selected on the word or whatever you're printing on, otherwise it will look weird. And there you go, printed by the words. So now you have your Polaroids printed out, what you could do is put them on a craft mat and cut them out. I recommend keeping the ruler on the side inside of the Polaroids so you're cutting the black line with the Polaroid on the inside view, not the outside, otherwise you can have some errors, so that way you can cut like accidentally through your Polaroid. So just take care on a step, take your time, there's no rush. Make sure you've got a firm cut, try to keep the light as straight as you can. Obviously if you haven't got a craft knife you could use scissors, but then again it won't be quite as straight, so I recommend a craft knife if you can get one. And here's the end result, there's one photo I cut out, and then we'll do is just continue with the rest of them, and yeah, that's pretty much all you have to do. And then just use them as you wish, so in my case I set them to my wall with blue tack. You could use them on a like a washing line with pegs, you can do anything with them, you can do loads of things that say that. It's Polaroids, they're nice. And yeah, I hope this video was useful for you guys, and yeah, see you in the next one. Bye bye.